Hi. In certain cases, you might want to have form fields or checkboxes uh, per signer. With SignButter V2, that is absolutely no problem. Let's see how we can control that. Here we have a document, a very simple one, and as you can see, it has two signers. On the first signer, I want to print out a name, and I want to put a checkbox to indicate that he agrees. I want to put the signing merge field, and I want to allow an extra comment. For a second signer, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. A checkbox, uh, the signing field, and then a comment that he can enter if he likes. So let's go to the configuration. I have already set up uh, my document over here. I've created already the two config types, the easy ones for the name. And now let's go for the form fields. Step one is we have to enable form fields for this document. So I'm just going to click this button, enable form fields. If you don't see this, please contact uh, support at pdfbutter.com. They can enable it for you. Make sure to pass on your PDF butter username, and then there is uh, this goes the fastest way. Let's add a form field for the checkbox. I'm going to add this config type. So, oh, I only need once. It's going to be of type. Um, uh, trans, let's do let's do a transient for form fields. A transient means that you don't want the uh, uh, the data to be updated in Salesforce. So uh, if you do a form field, a single for form field, data will be updated in Salesforce. A transient for form field, data will not be updated in Salesforce. I'm not going to enter a, a data source and a user uh, and a field. Why not? Because yeah. I don't want to link this to a field in Salesforce for this moment. Okay, let's do the merge field and then the configuration. I'm going to say it's required. It's going to be a checkbox and the checked value is going to be yes. Okay, let's do the same thing for uh, the uh, comment for signer one. I have this config type. Okay, I'm going to put in that this is, of course, as well, a transient for form fields. Uh, um, no, okay, then I'm going to put this one here. Uh, the control type is going to be, boo, let's do a single line input. And validation, it must be some text. So this is single line. If, it want, if you want to have multiple lines, you can just do a multi-line input. Okay. That's uh, not all for signer one. We also need a signing placeholder. So I'm going to copy this and then going to make this a uh, sign placeholder. Uh, I'm not going to fill in this. Uh, let's, if you don't fill in anything, it's actually PDF, but that will decide which is the numbering. So uh, that's very easy. If I'm not going to fill this and then the merge field is going to be signer one so pdf butter will know this is the first i uh, this is the first uh, uh time so it, it it will process this in this order and when uh this one adds uh comes first it will put the signing placeholder for signer one okay let's go uh do signer two so i'm going to create a new config type it's exactly the same thing it's transient uh, merge field, so transient. I'm not going to select the data source, not want to link it to Salesforce. This one is required as well. It's a checkbox, and the checkbox value is yes. Okay. Next up is the signing placeholder. Okay. Then uh, this is also a transient. Okay. Merge field. Um, the control type is uh, single line input and the validation is text. Okay, and now last but not least, of course, we're going to add the... Oh, I think I made a mistake. I think uh, what I just did here, the signer 2, is actually the comment that I need to put. So I'm going to quickly change this. Okay, now everything back in order. And then go for signer two, and on signer two, we do this. So we're gonna say it's an uh, sign placeholder. Okay, that's the configuration for the document. Let's uh, check it if it's actually working. So let's go to the doc configs uh, form field per signer. We can test it immediately on our opportunity here. And if I run it, it should show 
Yes, so it says Igor Stuyver. Then this is signers two. There is checkboxes, signing uh, merge fields, and we have indeed some free text that we can put here. Okay, all looks very well. Let's uh, let's close this. So now next step is of course we're gonna configure um, sign button on top of that. So uh, I'm gonna do a new pack. I'm gonna do I'm gonna say um, form fields per signer. The leading the config is form field per signer, of course. And now I'm going to create a new actionable. It's going to be a sign button actionable. So this is the actionable uh, form fields per signer. Okay, the doc, uh, it's not linked to a doc config. Uh, it's going to be active. The class, you can copy that from our uh, academy. And then last but not least, the sign request template. I already prepared the sign request template here, but we're gonna change it now together to see if it actually works for the form fields per sign. Okay, so I select my sign request template, save. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this back and I'm gonna add it directly here, uh, edit page on our component for PDF Butler. So this is our component. And I'm just going to say here, packs to retrieve. Save. Okay, let's go to our um, sign request template. On our sign request template, if I click the edit screen here, you will see a checkbox, uh, use form field per signer. And if you check that, then, well, form field per signer is activated. Now, how do you know which form fields actually are for which signer? Well, that you define in this next step here on the moment that you create your stakeholder. In this case, I already created my stakeholder. So let's go first for uh, the first signer, Igor Stuyver in this case. And then it needs a, separ a, uh, a comma separated list of form fields. And this is going to be the actual. Um, form fields that we have created here. So these transients, the merge fields for these, we're gonna use. So agree signer one, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it here. It's comma separated, so I have I can have multiple. So if I add another one, because there's gonna be the comments for signer one as well. Okay, cool, that's it. I have two form fields here, let's add them. And then let's add the primary. Let's change the primary contact as well, because this one also has two form fields that uh, needed to be filled. So agree signer two. And then comma comments signer two. So each signer now has two form fields assigned. Next, submit. That's it. That's the configuration. Now let's see it in action. Is this saved in the meantime? Yes, okay. So, what maybe, let's go generate the document. The document still generates fine. And now I'm gonna send this out for signing. So this is gonna, well, it's already sent out for signing. Let's go to, uh, let's do a shortcut in, uh, uh, for uh, demo uh, purposes. And I'm gonna send, and I'm gonna uh, sign it directly from these stamps here. That, uh, like I said, it's demo purposes. So this one will lead me to the signing page, and as you can see, that only these two checkboxes or these two boxes are highlighted. The other boxes are not available. So only signer one items can be filled in. So I'm gonna put here, uh, yay, works good. And I'm gonna try to sign it. So there is an error because this one is mandatory. I need to check it. I need to agree. So I'm gonna check this one and then continue the signing process. Yes, now I can sign it. And when it's signed, it will be immediately updated in Salesforce. So now I can go for signer two. On signer two, I'm gonna have the same thing here. 
Yeah, I have to check this checkbox. We've seen the validation already. So now I'm gonna say here for me as well. So both second sign is also signed. Okay. And then let's sign, finalize it. And then the entire document with the form fields for multiple signers is all signed and agreed. Let's take a look at the document. You can check that right here in Salesforce. The document preview is showing. And as you can see, the texts are here, the checkboxes are checked, and this, uh, the signatures are also there. Of course, this is a digitally signed document, so the PDF will also be digitally signed, so it cannot be changed. But this is how you can set up form fields per signer.